Hey, 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 today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make your very own apple sweet potato bake. It's a lovely, healthy side dish that's sweet, full of lovely flavors, and it just works for this cold winter season and holidays. So let's just jump right into it. We're going to start by getting four medium apples, and I'm going to nicely peel them. Take your time to do that. Once I actually have them peeled, I'm going to just chop them up with a bigger knife but then i'm going to core them with a smaller knife because you know if you do it with a big knife probably you're gonna cut yourself so let's be careful with that once i'm done with all the pieces i'm then going to dice them nicely as well as i can for the next step i'm going to take four sweet potatoes out yes i'm going to peel them as well as we did with the apples so just take your time to do that and then we're going to want to put out a big knife i'm using actually a meat knife that's sharper and i'm going to dice my sweet potatoes make sure you're careful because some sweet potatoes are hard and when you're trying to cut them up you might cut yourself that happened to my friends before trust me so be careful with this one and just dice them as well as you can the smaller the pieces the better they will cook and the faster let's take a small glass bowl and add in two teaspoons of cinnamon that's a lovely spice that will bring flavors to the bake and then one fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and one eighth of a teaspoon of ground ginger and i'm going to just give a good mix to all of these and combine them well we then want to transfer our sweet potatoes and apples onto a baking sheet the smaller the baking sheet the longer this will need to cook the larger the less time it will take so take that into account and then we're going to sprinkle all the spices onto these little potatoes and apples i'm then going to take one third of a cup of raisins and just sprinkle them all over our baking sheet and then add in two thirds of a cup of walnuts sprinkle them as well i'm then going to take one fourth of a cup of butter and we want to spoon out all the butter so we have one fourth of a cup of it in total it can be even more than that it will just make sure that our bake is fully and well cooked and has ton of flavor so you can have even more butter in it i'm then going to drop tablespoons of butter all over the casserole so it's evenly spread as it cooks it will melt and do the job finally we're going to add a pinch of salt all over the baking sheet and transfer it into the oven and we're going to bake at 350 fahrenheit degrees or 180 celsius and we're going to do it for four to five minutes to one hour we just need to make sure that our potatoes are fully cooked and soft before we take out our sweet potato bake once it's done it's a lovely lovely side dish you can have with your favorite meals it's so yummy spice full of flavor, sweet. And you know what? It's healthy, but it feels extra special. So highly recommend making it. For more recipes, please like and subscribe and come to allnutritious.com. Bye-bye.